Hey guys, this is Becca. I am back for my week 74 check-in. A couple things to show you this week. I have some in-class paintings with a slightly different palette. It's an umbers based palette, um, which is kind of what I started with, but now it's adding a blue and an orange. So that was really fun to use something a little different. That seemed a little easier to me than the Zorn palette for some reason. Maybe it's because you already have those like nice browns mixed up for you to start with. Um, I've also included some gesture paintings because we've been doing them the whole time, but I usually just like wipe them down and reuse the paper, but this time I kept a few just to show you what those look like. Um, and it's really, really similar to gesture drawing. So that actually has been really nice because I feel like I'm sort of like doing a little bit of drawing um, here and there and not like totally haven't completely ditched the drawing part of this. Uh, I have a bunch of images in here that are for my final class project, which is called body language. And what we did was my teacher passed around a hat and it had a bunch of different pieces of paper in it and we pulled one out and it all said a different emotion on it or a feeling. And we have to do a painting that shows or expresses that feeling without using props or any of the obvious tropes. And it can only have one character in it. So I was working on some color palettes for that and some thumbnails and just different concepts um, that I'm thinking about using for the final painting. So I'm not gonna tell you what the final one, what the word is yet because I want you guys to see the final one and see if you can guess what it is. Um, which is really hard. It is very hard to communicate without props. I'm, I had a lot of ideas, but they all just like didn't quite look right. <laughs> it's hard to make a face that, that looks like a particular expression on, on impact. It gives me a lot of respect for actors. It's really hard. Um, so that was what's going on this week. Next week, I'll have that final, <laughs> final painting happening. And, um, yeah, I'm really close to the end of, end of my class. It's kind of crazy. So I think I'll be going back to drawing pretty soon. But for now, finishing up with a few more paintings. Thanks for watching.